Aloha Ohana, Aloha from Oahu, and we are happy to to have a gathering today with you all, and we just pray God's blessings over all of you. It's April 26, 217 in the afternoon, and 80 degrees, and it's Friday, and Keith has a word for you. Aloha everybody. Let's take a look in Matthew chapter 8, starting with, uh, let's say verse 5, I think it is. My phone is darkening because of this heat on it. When Jesus entered the village of Capernaum, a captain of the Roman army approached him, asking for a miracle. Lord, he said, I have a son who is lying in my house, paralyzed and suffering terribly. Then Jesus answered, I will go with you and heal him. But the Roman officer interjected, Lord, who am I to have you come into my house? I understand your authority, for I too am a man who walks under authority and have authority over soldiers who serve me. I can tell one to go and he'll go and another to come and he'll come. I order my servants and they'll do whatever I ask. So I know that all you need to do is stand here and command healing over my son and he will be instantly healed. Jesus was astonished when he heard this and said to those who were following him, He has greater faith than anyone in Israel. And then down to verse 13, Jesus turned to the Roman officer and said, Go home. All that you have believed for will be done for you. And his son was healed at that very moment. So what I want to look at here is, is the correlation between understanding authority and faith. And if we are of a disposition where we reject authority and we hate authority, then we're gonna have a great deal of trouble doing anything in faith. We're gonna have a great deal of trouble believing the Lord for anything because rebellion is just part of us, it's at our core. And so if you are living in rebellion, if you are uh, living with a cynical attitude towards things, you really need to just stop that, repent, you know, turn away from that rebellion, turn away from that cynicism, and embrace the Word of God, and embrace the Lord, right, and embrace Jesus, who is, who is really the Word of God, and your faith can, can go to work for you then, but if you're going to reject authority in your life, faith is going to, faith just isn't going to work for you, that's just the way it is, you're just not going to have any success believing God for anything if you're filled with rebellion. God bless you all, and I love you. James 4, 7 says, Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And you know, Jesus was 100% submitted to his Father, and he had 100% authority when he was on the earth. And so there is a lot to what Keith just said. It is scripturally based. So I pray that you meditate upon that and repent of rebellion. And you know, to submit to God, we need to know him. So we need to study the scriptures that talk about God's character so that we can get to know him and, and trust him and submit to him. Because it's hard to submit to someone you don't know. So we really need to get to know who God is and his character and his divine nature. And then we'll find it easy to trust him and obey him and submit to him when we understand the love of God for us. And he just wants us to love him back. He says, if you love me, you'll obey my commandments. Okay, God bless you and have a beautiful Friday. Aloha. Aloha.